But this oh, should do the boy, trick. Good. Are you all right, Tate? He never could take a punch. <laughs> Where am I? Well, if I didn't know better, I'd think you were in a loony bin. <laughs> uh, yes, this certainly promises to be an interesting evening. <laughs> More fun than a barrel of monkeys. Aren't they? <laughs> Stevens, where did these animals come from? Yeah, where'd they come from? Well, actually, uh, n never mind, just get rid of them. Oh, they're cute, Lionel. Where's your sense of humor? <laughs> I don't see anything funny about a room full of anthropoids. <laughs> uh, Uncle Arthur, you cut out the monkey shines and undo your spell. Hi ho, Samantha, my sweet. <laughs> don't hi ho me. You and your practical jokes are destroying us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute little fellas, aren't they? <laughs> not to me, they're not. They are ugly little beasts. No cuter than your practical jokes. Arthur, we are finished for all time. And if I never see you again, it will be too soon. Goodbye. You're right. She's a phony. <laughs> Stacked by the phony. <laughs> I demand an explanation. And it better be a good one. Good? It's going to have to be great. <laughs> and you're going to get it in just a minute. And get rid of these monkeys. Sure thing. Uncle Arthur, I beg of you, please undo your spell. Why not? I've lost my love again. That's not all you're going to lose. Uh, Mr. Rockfield, I'm sure Stevens has an explanation. Practical jokes return to the roost and give Uncle Arthur a great big boost. And as soon as he gets back, he'll get rid of the... Where'd they go? Okay, Sammy. Ciao. <laughs> Time to face the music. Well, you asked me to get rid of the monkey, so I got rid of them. Oh, you promised an explanation, a good one, a very good one. Well, go, go ahead, sweetheart, tell them about your plan. Don't be modest. Plan? Well, you know, the, the plan to show that you can enjoy your home without making it a Coney Island funhouse. Oh, of course. <laughs> that plan. Baron always says that a home can be fun without air blasts or, or, or sticking glasses or barrels of monkeys. Or even a boxing glove. Maybe later I'll explain how much fun that was. I hope there's more. Of course. We show the Coney Island Funhouse, and next to that, a home furnished with Rockfield furnishings. And the slogan might be, uh, put some fun in your home with Rockfield furnishings. That's your explanation for everything that happened tonight? Uh-huh. I like it. I like the approach, and I like the slope. I knew you would. I'm crazy about it myself. <laughs> well, you must admit, it does have punch. It's different. But you certainly went to a lot of trouble to make your point. Well, would this moment have been as meaningful if Darren had just said, fun house? No, it wouldn't. Mrs. Stevens, your husband's got quite a head on his shoulders. I certainly have. <laughs>